The trial continues for Daniel Perry for the murder of Black Lives Matter protester Garrett Foster. The trial began with Perry maintaining his plea of not guilty of the incident on July 25, 2020. The state is saying Perry intentionally shot Foster, but Perry is saying it was self-defense. He believed he had no choice, regrettably, but he had no choice. He was in apparent danger of being killed, two-tenths of one second. He had no choice but to use his gun to defend himself, and that's why he carried the gun. Some of the protesters did admit to kicking and yelling at Perry and his car. Witnesses demonstrated on the stand how Foster was holding the gun. Across his chest, he had it sling across the front and it would always be holding it downward. When he came up to the car, it was about... I'm not talking about when he came up to the car, I'm talking about when he was 50 to 100 feet away from the car. Okay, well, at all, pretty much all times. 911 calls and police body cam footage was played in the courtroom. He was visibly distraught. I remember his hands were shaking. Um, in speaking with him, I could hear the, the quiver or nervousness in his voice. It was obvious that he'd just been involved in a traumatic incident. Perry shot towards Foster. According to the autopsy, Foster had a total of four gunshot wounds. And based on the location of the wounds, it was most likely Foster was leaning towards the left to see in the car. This trial is set to continue Monday morning at 9 a.m. In downtown Austin, Jessica Rivera, Fox 7 Austin News.